time to get dirty. Yo channel, welcome back. We are with the 32 today. Benjamin has his 13 over here in the corner. Now we're up to the not so fun fun part of stripping out the engine bay, cleaning it up, and getting it all shaved and kind of repaired for paint. So uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not a small process. I have to go through and eliminate some of the things I don't need in here. So keep in mind, uh, we're putting in a Toyota motor. So we're putting in a 1JZ GTE. We're gonna have a bit of dramas with the uh, steering column and that kind of thing getting dump clearance because the Toyota motors have their exhaust on the driver's side, whereas our all our Nissan and RB motors have their exhaust uh, on the passenger side. Gonna eliminate all this wiring and all, all this stuff that was giving me dramas when we had the RB in there. This car had already been royally passion fingered before I got it, so we're kind of going through and cleaning up all the uh, crap that has happened to it in the past. So even stuff like the fuel pump not being wired incorrectly through here, it's just going to do this properly. going to tidy it all up and make it a very nice car. Can you guess what color we're going to do this engine bay? I can't remember if I told you guys that or not. So if I haven't, have a guess. If I have, have a guess. <laughs> Give you an idea what it looks like. It's been a while. Still gonna do my other door card. I'll get around to that. I've got to do plates for my roll cage. Now that it's in the car. And clean all this up. It's got my uh, hedge coast tally, keeping all my uh, gauges and stuff safe from the sun. Too bad though the roof is not keeping my car safe from uh, birds. All the birds. So our task with this car while it's here is doing a new radiator and a new inner cooler as well as all new piping for it because this thing has a gigantic supercharger and everything's custom fit so everything has to be remade so it doesn't foul on things mm. so this is painted in like this uh, bluey purple kind of pearl metallic it's just a really comfy feeling bright Japan seats they're real nice nice car and if you have forgotten this is our motor for the uh, 32 nice and pretty still waiting out on a harmonic balancer and I haven't painted the valve cover or the timing cover yet I'm still tossing up how I'm gonna go about doing that whether I just paint it wrap it it's looking at the stage that I'm just gonna have to hand paint it so that might be interesting have I shown you guys lens 13 I don't think I have it's really filthy at the moment but let me show you anyway do you remember what the uh, kit is on your car Benjamin you've got the was it Nismo Aero front bar yeah, but the, genuine... uh, the genuine hacked up Nismo Aero front bar. Uh, wide body is the Origin 70mm wide body uh, on rear. Say again. I reckon D Max. It's wide. It's pretty hourglassy looking 13. Again, very dirty. This thing has been sitting for about five or six years now. It got painted and then stored. Got a Bunnings lip. That's some uh, $2 foam from Bunnings. Works well. It's not a half bad car. What do you guys reckon? What's better? Our chassis? Yes, yeah, chassis. Benjamin, what's your opinion? Our chassis, yes, chassis. What's your favourite? One of his. 
Yeah, but what's your favourite? Yeah, both got the pros and cons. I am traditionally in Skyline chassis blue. He's owned three 180s so far and doesn't ah, seem yeah, he doesn't seem to be able to keep them. Gets bored of them and sells them for some reason. Uh, maybe it's because someone else who's got 180s is too freaking fanatical about their 180s. Takes the fun out of 180s. No, I do not. I, how can I take the fun out of 180s? They're not they even. They look like Ferraris. They're not even Nissan powered. Now you think the power steering will just be this little guy, the reservoir, and then a couple lines. Look at all of this. This is power steering. These are all power steering. All that is power steering. That's power steering. That is all power steering. That's power steering. That is power steering. All of it. What a mess that makes. So many potentials for leaking. <laughs> so we're going to eliminate that. I have not a clue how, but I've apparently shattered my fuel pressure gauge. All cracked. Interesting. So, this is a drift car. This thing has had quite a few front end kind of hits and that kind of thing. So you can see this headlight here is slightly down and pushed in. See the gap on the side here compared to this one here. You can also see it by the rise in the radiator support I have just here. Slight, but it's enough that it's uh, probably holding the bonnet up slightly from closing correctly. And it is uh, misaligning the headlight quite significantly. Try and fix that while all this is happening. Gonna get rid of my factory hacked up front Rio. It's been pretty good. Holds the front bars on quite well, but it looks like trash, so gonna get rid of that and replace it with an aftermarket bar, I think. Try and weld something up and get it on the front there. And oh my god, and get a jacking point. I need a jacking point. A lot of my friends also like to uh, rag on me that I, I rake. I rake my 32 apparently by lowering the back too much and keeping the front too high. In my defense, I run the car like this because I want it as low as I can physically get it, but my problem being is double wishbone suspension doesn't let me get it much lower if I'm driving like a lunatic and drifting the thing, which is what happened there. I was doing circle work around Luke Fink and the amount of, I don't know, the, the amount of body roll on the car or something, or maybe how I have my Ackerman, um, not sure. Just tore up my guard, so. I'll probably raise the rear a bit. That way people can't whinge. Then I have the car too low and it looks roached. <laughs> but it look more like a GDR or something, I think. Stop. Will you Aye. stop blowing the fuses out? No. My compressor is bagged. Obviously. It's a dying compressor. <sighs> Is it crazy to think that you are somewhere else around the world and you're staring at the moon? And I'm somewhere else around the world staring at the moon and we're both looking at the moon at a similar time. If we're in the same hemisphere, of course, but I mean, like, that's crazy. I like the moon. Look at that! All for just for power steering for this little guy. This little guy here has this whole network of extra unnecessary stuff. Now if you're like, well, what do you mean unnecessary? It was designed factory like that. I'm a drift kid. I like things simple, I like things that work, and I like things that aren't comfort oriented. So not like dampening and I don't know, quietening things and I don't need them to be comfortable, I don't need them to be quiet, I don't need them to be any of that junk, just give me a drift car, throw a motor in it and I'm happy. As minimal uh, chances of failure as possible, points where they can leak, points where there's extra joins, uh, extra long lines, soft lines, all that kind of stuff, anything that doesn't need to be in here, I like to get rid of. That includes aircon. <laughs> I wonder if I still got my uh, clutch damper on, I don't think I do, I think I pulled that out already. Or did I? Oh no, I think I can see it. So if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, see that little guy? down there, there's a hard line down there that kind of loops around. It is pretty much the exact same thing that was up under here. It's just like a, a loop line. Now this one was probably for power steering cooling, but now that thing's going as well. Goodbye sunshine. I missed showing you the, uh, the nice sunset. Still kind of nice though. Alright, back to cars.
say goodbye to all of this. We need to get that out still. Cut all this is out now. Sorry if this camera keeps going in and out of blur. I'm using the G7X to film all the nitty gritty dirty stuff. And I'll use the RX100 for the nicer stuff. So, almost getting it out. Just gotta get uh, the branch under here off. So, probably, probably pull all that out actually. But it means I've gotta go track it underneath the guard now. Well, it's not great news for uh, Tyler. We are doing a service on this car and Benjamin's just had to hack open the oil filter because we've just found a bunch of brass in his oil. Uh, the car sounds fine, still runs fine, but that's not what you want to see when you do an oil change. So it's not the greatest news for Tyler. All the loom is now piled in the corner, I've just pulled it out from under here. All the earths are off, headlights, anything off the front there is now gone. Uh, but I cannot get this completely off just yet because it joins onto the fuse box and then goes up underneath the guard and then straight underneath the guard through the firewall straight into the footwell and as you can see we've lost all the light so I really don't want to have to be doing that in the dark and I don't want to do that right now so that's a tomorrow job or a daylight job now if you guys are import owners I'm sure you all agree with this but if you're not it's the one I want of uh probably the biggest pet hate of all JDM or Japanese car enthusiasts is that I don't even know if this is in Euro or whatever this is just because I'm Japanese oriented so if this is in other cars then I'm sure you guys can get frustrated about it too but bloody battery trays who decided spot welding a battery tray into a wheel well was a good idea <laughs> um, we also have some little lines here we're going to pull off. So this guy here is charcoal canister for that one. So it goes to the fuel tank, comes down across. Again, just more junky lines in the engine bay. Just get rid of some of that stuff. And then hopefully tomorrow we can smash the engine bay with a pressure washer. Sorry, I'm standing in the light. Hit the engine bay with a pressure washer, get all the grease and grime and dirt. It has many, many, many a year of drifting and dirt and grossness and just leaky everything all through this engine bay so if I have any hope in hell of any form of paint sticking to this I'm gonna give it really good clean we've also decided we're gonna do uh, a shave bay I'm not gonna say shave bay day but uh, we're gonna shave the bay and clean it up in both the 32 and the 13 what color are you gonna paint your bay though Benjamin? Uh, green. green? Green. Oh god I thought I said green I was like don't paint the that that <laughs> Cream. Oh, that's right. So you wanted to like a fleshy colored uh, engine bay, didn't you? Some uh, pink bits. We'll look pale. Pale. Okay, like pale. I'm just giving you. I'm, I'm just giving you. Oh, oh, oh. No way. Is that out of that? Oh, not all of those white bits aren't. But no, 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 no. This bit right here. Tip the tip the barrel down. That. That white stuff won't be, but things like this brass bit here yep. would have been these little brass bits. A little hard silly to focus, Sorry. We'll be shaving the bay of the 32 and the 13, so if you like our chassis, keep watching for this guy. If you like our chassis, keep watching this guy. And uh, you can join Team Ben or Team Loki. <laughs> Make your choice wisely. No. <laughs> Do I really want to? Oh, that's a lot of brass. I'm sorry, Cameron, you probably can't that's even That's where they dropped the filter down into it. That's the filter spring. Yeah, okay, well, again, sorry, guys can't see it. It's too bright. That torch is just the demon sun mind the junk pile here it's actually kind of half shop stuff that needs to go into here but as you can see the shop is pretty chockers benjamin's throwing the vvti 1j into the 13 i'm throwing the non-vvti 1j into the 32 which both of those guys are sitting over there and it should be good benjamin how much horsepower are you going to uh look at running you're running factory uh i'll have a how tech but it'll be nothing too spastic I haven't decided if I'm going with Haltec or Link yet. I don't know. Maybe that's a uh, good opportunity. Haltec, Link, if you want me on board, hit me up. <laughs> Cars don't build themselves. So if anyone wants to jump on board, feel free to send me a message. Any form of help and sponsorship is greatly appreciated. So that'd be sick. Anyway, so yeah, you're, you're going Haltec. Yes. What's about you going? 35 equivalent from stock. Oh yeah. Whatever they use. I don't know what I'm going to go with yet. I'm thinking, I, I don't know, my turbo's down to a T, but... I'll probably go a 30, like a 30, um, not 76, the one up, I think 82, 3082, GDX 3082. I don't know. I, again, have to look into and do all the research on my turbos, but 
30 GT35s might have a little bit more lag, whereas Benjamin's VVTi will probably counteract that a lot better than what mine would. Kinagawa Bunger and. Say like Kinagawa. 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 Kinagawa Bunger. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh. So yeah, that's that's kind of a bit of a snapshot plan into what's going to happen with these two in the next couple of months. Hopefully we can get them done before we uh, make a big life move that you guys will find out very soon. Alright, well, that is going to be it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the vlog and all the madness that we get up to with the cars. Uh, catch the uh, following vlogs for more progress on the 32 and the 13 if you want to watch the SGSC in the background. My 180SX, I am working on. Don't worry about it, it's on the low. Uh, you'll find out what is happening with that soon. So if you're here on the channel watching for the black 180SX, updates will be coming soon on that. As for the L200 mirror, again, parts waiting, but updates very soon because I really want to drive that. And what else? Love wubba shub wubba wubba. That's not English. Uh, Archie Drift Packages is every second week, so you might find vlogs occasionally uh, featuring that. Or you guys might be in it if you're beginners out of the track, and I'll see you there. Uh, thank you guys for yeah watching, subbing, supporting the channel. Please hit that thumbs up. It really tells the algorithm to, you know, that with the, uh, with the content. So that would be awesome. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Have fun. That's still not English.